let's go and get the last of this loaded up and uh, go join the others down on Freedom Avenue. We've got a lot of work going on down there as we work to change out all of the street lamps for this winter. The snow is now falling. Uh, we've got to prepare because there's a lot of drivers on the road now and there's a lot of incidents that are going to be occurring. It's snowing, the roads are icy, so we've got to make sure we light up the roads as much as possible because it's crazy honestly. I see so many people driving around without their headlights on at this time of year in the dark. They rely too much on uh, the street lamps and everything. All right, perfect. Got the uh, the bed doors shut and uh, let's get a move on. Morning lights on, let's get the doors open. Headlights on myself, I should have nearly forgot. That's very embarrassing. Uh, all right, let's make our way down there. Uh, we'll head the most direct route, simply uh, Freedom Avenue all the way down there into the city. Today, I believe we've only got a two or three salt spreaders out. Um, but from what I've heard, DOT, they're trying to get more and more out to combat this. Because you can see there's ice everywhere on the roads. Uh, right, where, where's the best location to park up? Probably just... Okay, we can't go in there. Let's just go at the end. These things are lethal. Alright, we'll go and just pull in here. It's a relatively quiet road, which is nice. Alright, there we go. All the supplies we need for tonight. Uh, that should be everything, really. Um, and yeah, we should be sorted then. Let's get those uh, unloaded and kind of get the scene moving along. Looks like they've already got uh, the bucket truck up there and uh, switching the lights out. So I think we're going from, I think it's uh, halogen to LEDs now. They're brighter, they're safer, and they last longer. So it means we don't have to replace these as often, which is always a lot of fun. What's it now? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. It's snowing, it's cold. Uh, it's not really what we want to be doing. I'd much rather prefer to be down at Le Mesa having a nice meal uh, since I know they've uh, expanded their menu a bit. Uh, anyone want any drinks? I'm gonna pop down. I'm gonna head over to Liberty Cafe. Anyone want anything in particular here? Coffee, tea, anything like that? Warm water, coffee, hot chocolate. Anyone else? And yeah, police are actually out. They've got um, little wreaths on the front of their cars, which is kind of cool. Fortunately, we weren't allowed but uh, maybe next year, maybe next year. We've got a coffee, we've got a hot chocolate, anything like that, another, okay, perfect, two. All right, I'll go and grab those now for you guys. To be fair, I was expecting more traffic on the roads tonight, which is quite nice. We usually have a lot of drivers uh, driving by, it's loud, it's noisy, they're spraying snow up, so luckily we don't have that today. Though I will say, this is a lot busier than I expected it to be. Oh geez, uh, evening everyone. Yeah, it really is freezing. It really is. I think it's uh, already in negatives. I haven't checked the weather recently, but I think it definitely feels like it's in uh, negative degrees anyways now. Hey, uh, good evening. Uh, i just ordering one coffee, please, and uh, two hot chocolates. Actually, three hot chocolates. I'll take one as well. So one uh, one coffee and three hot chocolates, please. That's all. Lots of uh, horns I hear outside. <laughs> wonder what that is all about. Uh, $24. Uh, yep, yeah, I've got... Uh, you pay on card? Uh, I've got my uh, card here. I can pay on that. Lovely. Thank, thank you. We'll just wait over here whilst they uh, they process my order. It's nice and warm inside, anyways, so it gets me out of the cold at least, which is nice. But uh, should be my order complete to that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good evening. Have a, have a good evening, you all. Few cars on the road, but still not as much as I was expecting, which is quite nice. A lot of police, though, I will say. A lot of police. They're, they're definitely uh, trying to fill their quotas, I suppose, uh, for tickets. Yeah, I see them all over the street now. Uh, hey, hey, I've got your drink here for you. Yeah, you've got to, got to be careful, actually. It's uh, one wrong step on that. Oh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> I'm going to go and grab some salt, actually. I think I've got some a bag of it in the back of here. Uh, yeah, we do. Perfect. Let me go and grab that and just distribute it over. All right, that should be all cleared up now. Lovely, lovely. All right. Always going to make Osha happy. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, got to follow by the books, as you say. Yeah, I think they should be. I think they should be done. Yeah, coming down now. Perfect. All right, so that's that one. We've still got two more to go. And then we've got this part of the road done, which is all we need to really get done tonight. Then we've got two more down there by the tunnel. And that'll be Freedom Avenue done. So we haven't got too much more work to do. And that'll be the lights done. And then, it'll, then it's mainly on to uh, clearing the roads, actually. The temperatures have only been cold enough for ice, uh, like, the last 24 hours or so. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to melt that off, anyways. I think that's actually more DOT personnel. It is. I think those guys were down at the highway, um, shoveling snow or spreading salt. Uh, the keys for the truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Here are the keys. What is going on here? We've got arguments over OSHA time. Guys, let's split this up here. Arguing about someone being a mole for OSHA. Uh, thank you, thank you. Got the keys back. 
beautiful things. All right. Uh, whoa, 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 guys! Can we get ladder, ladder over here or something? Yeah, we're coming. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. What on earth? I think, I think this BMW just lost control. Okay, uh, let's stop all these. Let me hop over the barriers here. Yeah, can we get all the cars through? Uh, redirect the cars. Yeah, block off the road here. Block off the car. Block off the road. Don't know any cars coming down here. All right, yeah, just hold on. Hold on there. Hold on. Uh, we've got a ladder or anything. We've got a ladder, step ladder, anything. Let me see if they've got one inside Liberty Cafe. We've got a ladder or anything. Oh, they've, they've closed. Bring a pickup down here. Uh, no, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a pickup. Bring a pickup down here and we can, uh, we can stand in that. Yeah, yeah, bring the pickup, bring the pickup. All right, uh, someone can just climb up onto the roof there and essentially get them, get them out. Yeah, it's slightly awkward, but what you, what we need you to do is climb out the bucket and hop onto here. It's not that far of a jump. It's only 10 feet, maybe. Uh, all right, fire, fire departments here. Just get them over here quickly. I don't want this thing tipping over on another truck as well. And then got even more of an incident. Do you want us to move the pickup truck? We can move the pickup truck if you want to. Um, we just put it there to try and get them down. Okay, so we've got a ladder here. Is, is that going to be long enough? That's the question. Uh, just need to kind of prop it up against there and um, hoping it doesn't uh, push it over anymore. We put some cones in front there. It's not going to do much to stop the BMW rolling, but it should, should prevent it from slowly rolling outwards and um, this kind of crashing down again, shifting the weight even more. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold it. I'll hold the ladder. Yeah, okay, just hold the, hold on there, hold on. Fire department's here. Fire department's there, there. I think they're bleeding. I, d I don't know if they caught on something. There's not too much, um, like, sharp items inside of the bucket, but either way, they could have uh, caught their leg on a control panel or something. There we go. Fire department's just going to grab them out there and winch them down here. A uh, bit risky, though. This ladder is, like, um, placed in a, in a very uh, awkward place. So, quicker the quicker the better, honestly. There we go. All right, they're out. They're out. There we go. All right, let's move back. Uh, they put hydraulic struts underneath the bucket truck in case it falls or to prevent it from falling, but I really wouldn't be surprised if it does um, fully collapse in a second. So let's just try and keep that area um, closed off for the moment. The driver is, I believe, being admitted to hospital now. Only minor injuries, which is good. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a field day with paperwork after this. Uh, good to know that both of them are okay. But still, yeah, I think they just lost control on the roads. It does show, though, that within 24 hours, this city has gone from, well, pretty much like a summerscape to completely winter. We've got snow, ice everywhere. It really is crazy. It really is. We're not really going to be able to do too much more, given the damage to the bucket truck. Yeah, guys, be careful. We've got so much ice all over the place here. It's only going to get worse as the night goes on, so... I think there's no point in trying to do too much more tonight. And we've only got one more light left to fix, fix, which we can push to tomorrow. So I think that's the best uh, bet. We'll clear up for the tonight. We'll, uh, and then we'll kind of resume tomorrow. Yeah, we can keep this road blocked off uh, until we get everything up, cleared up. But let's uh, put away the cones and whatnot. Barriers, we can move. Um, I'll move the, the cone truck up here real quick. And we'll try and get this kind of cleared up 